Hello everyone, this is Night Sky and welcome back to Pokemon X. In the last episode, we defeated all of the Elite Four members because we are over leveled and they only had four Pokemon each. And today, nothing stops us between us and challenging the champion. Now before I do that, let me give you a brief overview of my team in the order that I added them. Baylor the Delph Fox, the fire type, was us since the beginning of our adventure as a Fennekin, our starter. Blossom the Florages, the second one we got. You can get so many good team members and I wanted a fire, a fairy type. And this thing has an amazing special book, 154, it's also a good special attacker was caught as a white flower flababy because white was the prettiest turtle pult we got from professor sycamore we can choose one of three canto starters when we defeat him and i never i like never use blasters and i wanted a water type so naturally squirtle was a good fit for the team and after turtle pult we got fatty mcfly I wanted a poison type and it is fast it shreks through things so easily when you give it acrobatics and it's not holding an item and after that it took quite a while but melissa steel fairy type them a while it has intimidate i gave it the rocky helmet and it's part fairy typing really hard carries its stats it has mediocre stats but it's not the most unusable thing, especially in a game where it's easy to overlevel like this one. And our final Pokemon, Bisharp, the nickname Checkmate. Because it was originally cut from my team, but I realized Baneri is now available in this game. But what's very special about this Checkmate is it has Defiant and it is Adamant Nature. So it was meant to be. It has a quad weakness to fighting, which really holds it back a lot. But it's more than usable. Now, without further ado, let's challenge the champion. Radiant Chamber. Oh, wow. Look at this place. Don't go into the light. Okay, we're in the light. And you, that outfit looks familiar. Welcome at last, dear trainer. As you know, I am the champion, Diantha. Oh, but you are. You're the child I spoke to in Lumio City and Cormarine City, aren't you? Then that means that you are also the one that dear Augustine said. Of course, how could I? Oh, I must look like such a fool for not or not to recognize you sooner. You and your Pokemon are the ones who stopped Team Flare for us all. It seems wrong of me to say this, but thank you. You saved us all. I can't wait to see what you and your Pokemon are capable of now. That I know exactly what it is you've done already. Okay, no fancy introductions, just thank you for saving the world. You're challenged by Champion Diantha. She's a diverse team, but she mainly has her ace Pokemon as a fairy type. Everyone knows what she's all about. But her first Pokemon is going to be the Halucha. Fighting and flying type with ability ability limber so it cannot be paralyzed sword stance flying press x scissor and poison jab flying press even though it's a fighting move it's it's a fighting and flying offensive route it's very weird like that hmm we can just psychic it out. i'm sure we're faster than it let's go deleted the halucha Oh, 
Ice Beam will also work if you have an Ice type TM in your team. Our next Pokemon is Tyrantrum. Rock and Dragon type with the ability Strong Jaw, Head Smash, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, and Crunch. Very scary stab on the Head Smash. It deals a ton of recoil to Tyrantrum, but it's 150 base power. We are faster than it, but if we stay in, we'll definitely go down. Who wants to come into a head smash? Oh man. So Turtle Poke can tank one hit and then hit it back with Surf. But I'm not excited to see how much this head smash will do. Yikes. <laughs> Let's Mega Vault because why not get the extra defenses. Go Turtle Pulp Mega Evolve into Mega Blastoise. Yeah, I just use Surf even though it's neutral because my Pokemon with fighting moves are weak to Earthquake. Oh, Aurorus. Rock and Ice type with the ability Refrigerate. Doesn't that turn all ice or all normal moves to ice? Yeah. Thunder, Blizzard, Light Screen, Reflect. So it has dual screens with Thunder and Blizzards so that we are not staying in. Who wants to take a Thunder. Oh, definitely Blossom. Blossom is perfect. Rock and Ice. It is weak to grass. It has so many weaknesses. Let me list all of them. Four times the weak to fighting. Weak to ground, rock, steel, water, and grass. Oh, and it is also quite weak to steel. You don't see that, like, ever. But let me guess, you're going to be annoying and use the dual screens. There's nothing it can do to us. Oh, Tyrantrum also has a ton of weaknesses. It was weak to fighting, ground, steel. Ice, Dragon, and Fairy. But obviously I don't want Blossom to come into a head smash. I was drawing the Aurorus. Okay, that's a good play. Actually, no. Gudra is a pure Dragon Tide, a pseudo legendary Pokemon. It is a fan made term that basically means non legendary Pokemon with its 3 stage evolution with a 600 base stat total. It has the ability Sap Sipper raising its attack when hit with a grass move. Dragon Pulse, Muddy Water, Fire Blast, and Focus Blast. We are immune to Dragon Pulse, resist Focus Blast, and can tank her other two moves. And you know what? Just to disrespect this thing, let's go for a wish. Light screen has worn off. Gudra, its most prominent stat is its special defense 150. We are slightly better in 154. It's a mixed attacker. It is weak on the physical side, but unless you have a faster dragon of your own or a mammoth swine, you're gonna have to hit it neutrally. What the heck, that did way more than I thought. No, don't burn us please. And our wish came true. Alright, goodbye Gucha. Oh no. 
<laughs> you have the full restore. Back into the Auroras. But no more light screen. Get out of here. Poor thing. Is Rock Ice the worst defensive type? It has to be. That is just an insanely bad defensive profile. Her next Pokemon she's bringing out Gore Guys, Ghost, and Grass type with the ability pickup. I don't think it has any in game battle effects. Trick or Treat, Phantom Force, Seed Bomb, and Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak is priority. What is Trick or Treat? Let me look it up. It adds the Ghost type to the target. In addition, if you use against a dual type Pokemon, that Pokemon will have three types at once. What? That is so weird. Okay, so it's meant to just hit you with its ghost moves. And depending on which size it is, it'll have like different stats. But they're all the same, just distributed differently. They will all have 122 defense, 75 special defense. So hit it on the special side if you can. It's gonna be weak to what are its weaknesses. Flying Ghost, Fire, Ice, Dark. We have a bunch of answers to it. But let's give some love to Batty McFly. I'm guessing you're just gonna use Trick or Treat to turn or to give us a ghost typing. Yep. Ghost type was added to Batty McFly. I was gonna cross poison, but fly is more power. Oh no, that actually screws us, screws us up. That's gonna hurt us. No, Batty McFly, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna guess you're gonna go for that annoying move again. I'm gonna try to finesse you. Ha! Huh. Who is finessing who now? And if you were smart, you would have gone for Shadow Stick. Oh wait, no. Never mind. Forget what I said. I'm dumb. Now her 8th Pokemon is going to be Guard of War. Psychic and Fairy type with the ability Trace. Copying the ability of whatever opponent it has. Moonblast, Psychic, Shadow Ball, and Thunderbolt. Pretty good coverage moves. It's an all attacking set. Its weaknesses will be Poison, Ghost, and Steel. But the problem with poison types is it's obviously weak to psychic. Now we can have Batty McFly go down. We can use a U-turn to go into something that resists or is immune to psychic. And you're gonna Mega Evolve. You're Gardevoir. It will turn into Mega Gardevoir. Meaning it's gonna have a sky high 165 special attack. 135 special defense and 100 speed. And it's... And it's new ability will be... Is it Pixelate? Yep. It turns all normal moves into fairy moves. Which it doesn't... It can't utilize. Gonna go into checkmate. And we get it scot-free. 
What can what can it hit us with? Only neutral attacks. It is neutral tonight slash let's iron headed. Moon blast. I know it's gonna hurt a lot, but check me, I believe in you. Take one hit please. Yes! And we take out the God of War. Thanks to Batty McFlight. And the Iron Head from Checkmate. And with that, Champion Diantha is defeated. You know, it feels really weird talking to like a hand drawing and not an in-game 3D model witnessing the noble spirits of you in your Pokemon battle. That's really touched my heart. We get 16 320 for winning. I, I'm so choked up that it's hard to know what I should say, but I, I, I'm just so glad at this moment that I was good enough to be the champion. After all, it gave me the chance to meet and battle with you and your wonderful Pokemon. Now I understand why dear Augustine, Professor Sycamore, said you needed to get Lumio City ready for the new champion. But before I take you there, my dear Jason, would you mind coming this way with me? Here we are. I'm so glad to welcome you in. This grand chamber is where you enter the Kalos region's Hall of Fame. This is where Pokemon trainers will live on forever. Remember it always for giving their all in battle to the Pokemon League and for the glory and light that they all sh that they shared with all. Come Jason, your love for your Pokemon, and the way that those Pokemon gave everything they had in battle for you. We'll record them all right here for eternity.